So I'm participating in Heat Transfer Warehouse Secret Valentine. It's basically like Secret Santa, but Valentine's theme. And so we had, we were given someone and we have to create a little gift for them and mail it out to them. So I'll have linked down below who I was given. And so she likes comfy clothes and the color pink. So I have this, this kind of like athletic shirt from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I'll have it linked down below, but I thought this would be perfect. It's comfy. And then I found this design on Etsy. I'll have it linked down below. I thought it was pretty cute. So she, my secret Valentine, I did a little bit of stalking on her YouTube and stuff and she does a lot of apparel like um, HTV and different things like that. So I found this, this design and I thought it was so cute. It has a heat press, it has a shirt, a printer, and it says crafting queen. So I'm going to be subbing this onto, let's do this. I think it'll be a cute little gift and it's pink. I just thought this design was so cute. Again, I'll have this design linked down below and I'll have the shirt linked down below as well. This is just gonna be a little craft with me type video. I will also be sharing with you what I get. Someone else got me. I'm not sure who got me, but I'll be sharing that as well with you guys. And let's just hop into this video. Oh, if you don't know, who Heat Transfer Warehouse is. They're a company that sells a bunch of blanks. HTV, sublimation blanks, sublimation printers, sublimation paper, a bunch of different things. I'll have their website linked down below. Go check them out. And yeah, let's hop into this video. Don't forget to check my website out at sewpresscreate.com. This month's class is going to be a bomber jacket class. I will have the pattern templates for kids and adults. There will also be step-by-step -step videos on how to use the files that are provided to you to import your own designs as well as how to sub, how to sew step-by-step, -step, the whole nine yards. And I'm really excited this will be a good class. If you don't want to do the membership, you can actually buy the course separate on the website. Just go to the courses tab and it will be there next week. So keep your eye out for that. And let's jump into this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I keep talking, I'm sorry. Let's jump into this video. Okay, to do this, I'm just gonna need my design. I made sure it's mirrored with sublimation. You always want your design to be mirrored because you're going to flip it and press it this way. I'm using InnoSub sublimation paper for this. I'll have it linked down below. This is one of my favorite sublimation papers. I have my heat transfer warehouse shirt and I'll have this link down below as well. I'm gonna have a lint roller because it's super important when you're working with fabrics. Heat tape, heat glove, and some butcher paper. And of course my heat press. So I'm gonna start off by grabbing my shirt and I'm going to start off and I'm going to lint roll it. And I want to lint roll it anywhere that's gonna be under the heat press, not just where my design is going to be. I'm just gonna make sure that I am gonna lint roll it super good. So now I'm gonna take a piece of butcher paper and I'm gonna stick it inside of my shirt. And the reason for that is in case my ink bleeds through, I don't want it to go to the backside of my shirt. So I'm gonna cut a piece that's a little bit bigger than what my design is and I'm gonna slip that into my shirt. So now I'm going to just flatten out this butcher paper a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my design and I'm gonna place it so you can I can see my design through my sublimation paper. So now I'm gonna kind of find my center and I'm going to place it there. Oop, I was about to do it upside down. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? 
I would have been so upset at myself. Oh my God. So I'm gonna place it down. And then I'm gonna take my heat tape and I'm just gonna start taping that down. So now that I have it all taped down, I'm gonna take this to my heat press and I'm gonna press it. So I put some butcher paper down to protect my fabric. I put my shirts down and I put it with my hem up here and then my collar down here just cause I don't wanna deal with what might be more uneven pressure because of the binding on the shirt. And now I'm gonna put another butcher paper on top of that to protect my fabric from my heat press. And I'm going to press at 385 degrees for 60 seconds. My heat press runs hot, so I always do 385 instead of 400. If yours does not run hot, you can probably do 400. And I'm just gonna put a little more butcher paper down here just to make sure my whole fabric is covered. And I'm only doing this to protect my fabric from my heat press. I don't really need a butcher paper with no subs sublimation paper it doesn't bleed through but i just want to protect my fabric and make sure that it doesn't get burn marks or anything like that and then now i'm just gonna take off my design in one swoop just like that and that's how much ink release i had I'm gonna take out my butcher paper from inside. The design looks really cute. I love how it turned out. Okay, let's package it up. I got some little extra things. I got a little bath bomb that looks like champagne, a little chocolate rose, some kisses, some tissue paper. I'm gonna put this shirt in here. I wanna put the kisses in here so that it could be cuter than the bag. And then the outside packaging. I'm gonna start off by putting my kisses in this cute little bag. And then I'm gonna fold up the shirt. And I'm gonna put it inside of here. I'm also going to get a piece of cardstock and I'm going to write a little note. I'm going to take some tissue paper and this in here. Okay, it's ready to be shipped.